Hey y'all, I'm Brown with Gaming, and a couple of weeks ago I had you guys send me what you thought were the best Super Mario Maker levels. Then, taking the levels that you sent me, I decided which levels that I thought were the greatest, based on creativity, level design, and how fun they were to play. And to be honest, this list wasn't easy to make. I mean, how can you say that Game Boy Mario is better than Super Mario vs. Mecha Bowzilla, or vice versa? However, I feel like I created a good list out of the levels that you sent me. And just to clear things up... DISCLAIMER! This list is based on my opinions and the opinions of viewers who submitted these levels. This list also does not encompass all the levels in Super Mario Maker, instead it only encompasses the 30 to 40 levels that were submitted to me by the viewers, a lot of which were sadly just for self-promotion. With all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Now, Buzzy Beetle Shield isn't the best level, but it's pretty unique and clever. The level is based around the gimmick of taking Buzzy Beetle shells and throwing them in specific spots so as to protect you from fatal objects. While the difficulty definitely does spike within this level, it still has a unique concept and is overall a well-created level. Abandoned Castle Red is a really well-designed traditional level. It's got that feel of an actual Super Mario level along with fantastic aesthetics. Plus, it's not too difficult, which is a great refresher in the world of Kaisa levels. Abandoned Castle Red definitely deserves a spot on this list. The next level on this list, Lethal Luigi's, is both challenging and hilarious. You, as Big Mario, try and make jumps that are presented to you by jumping on these crashed Luigi's. However, the twist is that as soon as you step on them, the Luigi's sink into the ground. This leads to some pretty challenging platforming sections as well as some intense moments. The concept behind this stage is truly bonkers yet fantastic at the same time. Super Mario Maker Museum is the tribute level to many other fantastic levels that other creators have made. In this level, you run through a museum of many levels and try and find your way out. To name a few of these tributes, you've got one for Color Code Castle by Andy, you've got one for... Uh, just keep moving Mario, just keep moving, don't look, just keep moving. You got one for Immortal Bones King by Deadly Keep, and the list goes on. On top of this, the maker of this course added a huge amount of hidden amiibo costumes to this level, which I find a neat touch. It's a great level, but my one complaint with it is that I wish that the maker included all of the IDs for the levels in the comments that he posted. This level is one of, if not the best, on mech level in Super Mario Maker that I've played. Not only is the music good, but the way that you platform and interact with the level is super clever and fun. Make sure to put this level on your to playlist. I'm sure almost everyone that has Super Mario Maker has either played or heard of this level. The famous Super Meat Brothers, made by Andre of Game Explain, is known as one of the first actually really hard Super Mario Maker levels, but now it just seems easy compared to all the other kinds of levels out there. However, this doesn't stop it from being a really well designed level. It's hard, but not unfairly. Plus, it's a pretty good recreation of how a Meat Boy level would play out. Definitely a great level. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm also pretty sure that Mission Possible is the most starred Mario Maker level, and has been for some time, and for good reason. This creator did a great job of recreating the atmosphere of a Mission Impossible movie, where you use costumes to blend in while infiltrate a building to rescue a hostage. Heck, this creator even has a loop- Heck, the maker of this level even has a loop of the Mission Impossible theme going on in the background. However, even though it is the most starred level on Super Mario Maker servers, a few of the other levels that you've sent me were, in my opinion, better than this one. So let's take a look at them. Now, Super Mario 64 is a revolutionary game for its time. With great level design and lots of replayability, it still remains an awesome game to this day. The creator of Super Mario 64 2D somehow managed to recreate nearly this whole game into Super Mario Maker, and out of all of his recreations, I feel like the second floor is the best of these levels. Its level design and layout makes it a fantastic and overall just fun level to play. Challenging yet rewarding.
The creator of Game Boy Mario had to think outside the box to create a level inside the box, specifically a Game Boy box. This level is one of the most extraordinary levels in Super Mario Maker that I have ever seen. The way he created this to make it actually feel like you were playing in a Game Boy is truly spectacular. Sure, it isn't perfect, but it's still a revolutionary level that shows you how much you can do in Super Mario Maker that the game doesn't tell you. And how could I not put this level at the top of this list? At number 1 we have Super Mario vs Mecha Bowsilla, which is debatably the best level I've ever played in Super Mario Maker. The opening is awesome, the mech is awesome, I have no idea how we came up with this concept but kudos to him, the platforming is awesome, and basically everything in this level is just purely outstanding. Definitely go check this level out, it is super good, it has to be one of the best levels in Super Mario Maker that I've ever played. Well guys, thank you for submitting these levels. If y'all want to see more Mario Maker, then just click those two end cards right there and make sure to like and subscribe. And I'm not going to spoil it, but there may be even more if you were submitted a top 10 list coming in the future. Thank you for watching, I'm Realm Gaming, over and out.